So 2016 of SOLIDWORKS is chock full of new features. I mean, there's new features, there's enhancements, there's changes big and small. And some of my favorite changes are actually in the DIM Expert environment. So I've just activated DIM Expert here. Um, you can see I've flipped my, my manager over here too. And some of the changes are, are you know, big, some of them are just, just little changes. Um, one of the ones that really makes a difference when it comes to selecting is we now have the ability to select edges. Now, even though I'm selecting an edge, it still selects the feature itself, but it makes it a little bit more flexible, especially when we're looking at, you know, like an orthographic view. Um, instead of having to go in there and pick that feature, notice I'm able to actually select the edge. And like I said, it's still selecting the feature, but it makes it easier to select it. Because in fact, we can actually pick silhouette edges. So if I'm looking at this from you know, the side view, the front view, I could actually pick that silhouette edge. So I'm just going to take and, and place this, but we can see that it actually snapped to that feature um, as I was creating it. Now, sticking on the, the edge selection, if I take a, a curved surface here, or a curved edge, notice it no longer puts a little R on, on the datum identifier. So it just knows that it's a datum, so it's just going to pull it out and it's not going to try to put that, uh, that identifier on there. Now let's flip over to a different model here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a location dimension between this hole and this hole. And notice now that dimensions behave a lot like they do within the sketching and, and drawing environment. That you know I can come in here and it's, it's allowing me to change it. I just right click because notice the little icon there, little glyph there, it's showing me that if I right click, what it will do now is actually lock that in. So once I've kind of got that positioned how I want, it will lock that in. I right click again, we can see that it's now snapping around. I can change um, where I want. I'm going to right click again and I can come in here and actually place that dimension in there after. Now when we are applying datums and we're using the width option, the datums will now behave more like a dimension. So I'm going to create a width one here and what I can see now is that when I select it, I can I can change its position, I could snap this to the back. Um, you can see that you know it is treated just like a dimension as opposed to uh, a datum, but it gives me that flexibility to work with it. I mean, when I select it, I can, I can go into the, the property manager here and I can make adjustments to it. So it, it does now um, behave more like a dimension. That's with the width option on the datum. Also notice we can create basic dimensions straight up here. So there's a new basic dimension option. I'm gonna pick, you know, face one, face two. Actually, let's go in the other direction. Let's create a basic dimension from here to there. And notice the, the, the basic dimension option here. It has its own set of properties. So I can change the precision here. I can change the primary value. I could add parentheses, make an inspection dimension, you know, add the different units, um, but we now have the ability to create those basic dimensions um, right in the environment here. Um, so I guess that's, uh, that's uh, a lot of the, uh, the, the new features. Um, if you are using SOLIDWORKS MPD, you can actually create um, dimensions or use them expert in the assembly environment. If you're not, then it is still just limited to parts. So the big changes again, we got the new basic dimension, width datums um, are treated like dimensions now. Um, they don't show the R. Um, they will also snap now, horizontal and vertical on orthographic views, which is great. Um, when we're creating, oh, I, I knew there was one more. Um, if we create whole notes now, the whole note will automatically snap to the top of the hole. So even if I pick this inside edge here and I pick my location, notice how that automatically floated to the top. So I knew there was one more thing and that's that's kind of the last feature. And then there are some other little ones here, so you still might want to dive into the, the What's New guide, um, but those are kind of the highlights of the changes to Dim Expert within 2016.